Why this class was a great experience was that I feel I now have the foundation to be able to work on synthesizers and carry that forward and, you know, work on my own stuff. And I think maybe the best thing I got out of this also is the people that I met who I am very confident I will be in regular touch with and maybe even working with in the future. Uh, I also had a tremendous experience uh, working on my project, which was restoring a Krumar trilogy and repairing it, and uh, really having uh, Jeff guide me through the steps of being able to problem solve and figure out why something wasn't working right, and, and how to trace that line, follow it through in schematics, and follow it through inside the actual instrument, and be able to fix things. It could be something as insignificant as a broken resistor leg that makes all the difference in how it works. So that was why this was a great experience. Well, I, I flew all the way from England to do uh, a course here. Um, it, it's been fantastic. Uh, Jeff, who runs the course, um, is an absolute guru of uh, the subject. Uh, you know, he, he, get, him, get him on any subject with everything you need to know. Um, for me, I, I lacked uh, kind of some of the underlying theory. I've done a lot of building and construction, uh, so I've come away from the course um, understanding why all the bits fit together and what they do. For my uh, project, I built a, I'm building a monosynth based on a book by an English guy called Roger Penfold, um, and I'm interested in also in doing a lot of work on my enclosure. Um, I'm kind of interested in where uh, the kind of synthesizers meet our objects, if you like. Um, and Jeff has really facilitated that uh, that interest. Uh, he he's interested in you know mentoring each of us in, in exactly what. Um, you know, I came into the class with uh, obviously a passion and, a, and a, a working knowledge of some of the tools that I use to produce music and work on music, but not really a, a technical in-depth understanding of uh, what's going on in every single component and, you know, how to maintain and how to repair those things and how to build those things. And I think now I have sort of the classes opened my eyes to a way, you know, deeper understanding of how this, stu this stuff is kind of what it's doing and, and that's, for me, it still feels, uh, in an exciting way, it's, it's very complex, but it still feels like an introduction to those things and, and, a, and a, almost like a, a stepping stone to being able to be more creative with the, with the technology. Um, rather than just sort of getting a synthesizer or getting something you buy and being able to understand it from the knobs and, and the sounds you hear from it, uh, being able to take a, a, f a farther uh, step into that and, and being a little more uh, precise about you know what you're what you're working with. So I think that's what the value for me is is. Uh, after, I guess, you know, a few years of producing and releasing music, I think I have another chapter of things to step into, which I didn't really have before. I felt maybe a little bit limited by the things that I was aware of, and I don't anymore. So. My project is repairing uh, an ARP Odyssey, which I'm not done with yet, but again, you know, uh, we're using an Odyssey and repairing one are, are two different beasts, but I think they they go hand in hand and they definitely inform each other. So, um, yeah. And I guess favorite part of the class, I mean, I, I think the whole the whole style of the class is pretty consistent and it and it's and it works. It's it's like taking all the things out of the physics class from high school that make it more complex than it has to be and, and sort of bearing it down to 
the history of these things, why they developed a certain way, and what the, where they are now, or you know how they're being used, or how where they exist, and why they don't exist, or you know. Um, so the, the sort of historical background I think helps people our age put put what we're doing in a little bit of context, you know, because. around and they're constantly evolving, but it seems like a lot of these things, you know, because technology moves so fast, we're, uh, there's things that might have, you know, are still to be had, so, you know, knowing where things kind of left off is kind of interesting too. So I basically came into the class, wanted to do uh, new design, I had a whole bunch of ideas and things that I wanted to do, one specific design that I wanted to do for my project. And coming into the class, I had a good idea, or I thought I had a good idea of what it was that I was doing. By the middle of the class, I understood that I really didn't know anything about what I was doing. And by the end of the class, I've got more than what I thought I had, and have basically gone ahead and built my design, and can move forward from that. So for that, I'm eternally grateful to Jeff and all of his various wisdom that is sort of put not just the things that I wanted to learn for the design, but beyond that to take it further. So, uh, so uh, I came into taking the class with a little bit of background knowledge in uh, synthesizers in particular, a small amount of self-taught repair work. Uh, only once I started taking the class, I realized how many gaps I actually had. Uh, and Jeff was very, very good at filling in the spots that I had missed in teaching myself and pushing to a point where I didn't even think would be possible in such a short amount of time. Um, my project is still in the middle of that. Uh, I'm designing my own module for the URAC synthesizer format. Uh, so I'm, I've learned from this class how to design a circuit, do a block diagram for the circuit, draw schematics, and begin prototyping, which is awesome. Uh, really, uh, any chance to get to ask Jeff any question about anything is a reason to take the class. Uh, it's pretty invaluable to me. Uh, so, where do I begin? Uh, so th th this has been a great class. It's, uh, if anything, it's uh, lifted the fear of uh, getting into analog equipment. Uh, I've, I've wanted analog equipment, but I've always feared what was inside. And uh, I think this cl uh, this class basically, you know, gave gave me that uh, confidence to, you know, if I do buy something analog, not to worry about, you know, if I'm gonna have to get it serviced uh, or outsource it somehow. So it's it's if anything, it's been that it's uh, it's been a great way to kind of lift the fear and. You know, now, now I know uh, I have a, I guess, uh, a method about uh, how to approach something like this. And yeah, uh, Jeff's a great educator. He's a great personality. And uh, uh, I was basically working on a Poly 6 that I found uh, for really cheap. And even though we didn't get it working, you know, we know what needs to be done in terms of if we need to acquire parts, uh, you know, some alternative ways to get it uh, repaired uh, so it's it's kind of laid out the groundwork for what needs to be done and, and it's great it feels uh, it feels good to to know a little bit more about what's going on underneath the hood so to say and, uh, yeah highly recommend it Jeff is like Yoda and <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he kind of looks at a synth and it starts working. So, you learn that.